Israelis are known as early adapters. They're always eager to try the latest tech, especially when it comes to the field of mobile technology. And while there's no Israeli cell phone manufacturer, this tiny country is still at the forefront of developing tech for this industry. And so my next guest, Nissan Gutman, founder and CTO of Voice Center, is an expert in mobile technology, and he's here to talk to us about this field in Israel and what we can expect to see in the future. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So as I mentioned, there's no Israeli cell phone manufacturer, and yet we see Israeli tech in most of the major brands out there today, like Apple, Samsung. So can you tell us about this field in Israel? Yeah, definitely. So as we can see the history of uh, the high-tech uh, companies and manufacturers at all, then I think that ever since the Susita car that was back in the 50s and 60s, like a known uh, manufacturer in Israel, uh, lots of the new tech companies that uh, are uh, coming with innovation from Israel are the, uh, you can see examples of Mellanox and of course Mobileye that actually produce lots of, uh, lots of uh, uh, services and technologies that their product is creating that is uh, not just uh, being the hardware provider as you mentioned but really a lot of more software engineering and a lot more, uh, if I could tell, a brain behind it that actually does it better and smarter. And, uh, I believe part of it is the fact that we live in Israel, which is a, a very small territorial a country, but with many early adopters, as you mentioned, lots of high tech companies, lots of uh, high demand for these uh, resources, uh, which give us a, a really good place to uh, uh, develop the technologies and have a very open-minded environment. And uh, uh, of course, uh, innovation is like a part of the like second word to describe Israel. Uh, and uh, uh, combining everything in together brings us to a very unique incubator that allows us to uh, develop these technologies and, of course, uh, bring them out to the world. And let's talk a little bit about some of the specific te technologies that we're seeing here in Israel. So we can definitely uh, look at Waze, one of the biggest success uh, I personally uh, really adopted as mm -hmm. soon as they went out. And, and uh, this is another good example of uh, showing how you can uh, bring out the community together and to help out navigate and come from one place to another in the shortest, best way. Mm -hmm. um, other uh, very, very, very well-known high-tech uh, are uh, Get, the uh, taxi company, or mm -hmm. uh, uh, MyHeritage would have uh, all these DNA kit that they uh, offer for mm -hmm. uh, the humankind to see who's related to who. Maybe we're also related in some mm -hmm. kind of way. You know, that's kind of the product, some of the uh, curiosity that uh, Israelis are uh, bringing to the table when they think about what's next, what's the next startup to bring up. Mm -hmm. And you've mentioned a lot of software companies, but I understand there's also some actual tech companies that, that for example, that I think Samsung recently acquired camera technology that's being implemented into cell phones and things like that. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, those? Yeah, many of the uh, people that uh, um, are familiar with the uh, army technologies know these uh, uh, innovative uh, uh, solutions that actually uh, take a picture and uh, make uh, more out of it. A mm -hmm. uh, picture has a, lo a lot more and there are many companies that are very successful in actually processing the, 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 the picture itself and uh, creating a huge uh, AI, artificial intelligence engine behind it that digests mm -hmm. all things that have been seen in the camera and then uh, you can find it uh, again, uh, just like I mentioned before in Mobileye and uh, other uh, mm -hmm. drone technologies that uh, uh, support and uh, make, make sure they don't crash into buildings and mm -hmm. uh, many other technologies that have been adopted by uh, the large mm -hmm. companies. Okay, and another question that we want to ask is about 5G. Everyone's talking about 5G, how this is the future of the mobile industry. So can you maybe explain to our viewers what 5G is? Let's start with that. Sure, no problem. Um, if I would have told a regular, a ordinary internet user 10 years ago that wherever you will go, you will have internet on your mobile and it will reach 500 kilobits symmetric line, people will not believe me. And today it's pretty obvious that the 5G network will allow each one of us to handle a smartphone with a SIM card that will allow us to bring, bring better latency, better communication, better bandwidth, a, a gig, one gig a symmetric bandwidth easily from any phone, which is probably more than any office nowadays have uh, in Israel. So. 
Uh, we're really seeing a progress there because the more and better uh, you're communicating from the client to the server side, more usability is out there to be used. Uh, of course, real-time communication is really important when it comes to, to transportation, when it comes to communicating between people. Mm -hmm. uh, any delay in any uh, uh, one of those video chat, phone, definitely security and cybersecurity, uh, any delay, any latency in this is a big threat to uh, the uh, stability of this service. And uh, when you minimize the latency and you provide more and more bandwidth, you can put more and more uh, into the client side and, uh, and to have him communicate better with the server side. And that goes for every technology that there is because you will always have the ability to offload some of the processing that the client side is doing to the server side, one, server side once you have enough bandwidth to do so. And one final question, what are some of the future trends that we can expect to see out of Israel with regards to the mobile technology industry? So definitely mobility has been a buzzword for years now. Uh, I believe that part of the uh, uh, business solutions that offer uh, uh, end users uh, for, of organizations to be using uh, contact center stuff, uh, you know, calls recording out of the cloud, uh, having uh, all their uh, calls recorded and uh, uh, pop up the window in the CRM or ERP or any other mm -hmm. business application they're using, uh, auto dialers, real-time monitoring, all these kinds of uh, benefits are part of the innovation we're at Voice Center developing to offer future customers the, to have, they enjoy the benefit of mobility, being able to work remotely from home, on vacation, on the road, and still be connected just like you were in the office with all those wires and computers and telephones around you, but it's all based on the sync communication, which obviously simplifies it, lower prices, and enables it to many uh, small organizations that can finally really enjoy the uh, new era of technology and uh, the uh, digital uh, era that is uh, coming upon us and to be able, even for the small, uh, mid-sized customer uh, organizations to enjoy these kinds of technologies that used to be only the technologies that, you know, banks and insurance or big credit cards companies used to have. So. Okay. I think really this is one. Accessible to all. Exactly. Well, great. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Great.